Welcome to the TLC tutorial on how to group sections in Sakai. This tutorial will show you how to group sections for a course site. As an instructor, you may have a course with several different sections. We want to group them together rather than create separate sites. Unlike Blackboard, you can group any sections together in Sakai and you do not need to use Homer to do this. First, log into your Sakai. Go into My Workspace. Navigate to Worksite Setup. Click New. Select the radio button for Course Site. Select the term. Click Continue. Here we can select the multiple sections together. After you have finished clicking on the multiple sections, click Continue. By default, the site title will be the first section selected. This doesn't make much sense if we are grouping together multiple sections. So for this tutorial, I will rename the site. I could give my site a permalink, a brief description, and a short description. After you are done filling out all the information necessary, click Continue. This will bring you to the Tools window. I will be selecting the Announcements and Syllabus tool. Remember, you could change the tools at any time. This is in a different tutorial. After you are done selecting your tools, click Continue. The next window will give you the option to publish your site. By publishing your site, you are allowing the students that are already registered in Homer Connect to view the site. You can choose to save the site as a draft, so no students are allowed to see it, However, if you do so, don't forget to come back and then publish the course site. Under Global Access, choose the default limit to whom I add manually. Click Continue. This will bring you to a summary window of your course site showing the details of the site. When you have reviewed these details, click Create Site. Now let's go back to our homepage to see the grouped course site. The course site will show up as a tab at the top or under a list of multiple course sites. Now let's go into the site info. You can see that both of the rosters from the different sections are included in this course site. If you scroll down you can also see that students from different sections are included into the course site. Thank you for watching the TLC tutorial on how to create grouped course sites in Sakai. Visit our other tutorials to learn more about Sakai as a course management system.